It is my pleasure to welcome you to ECD Quatrain, our special video broadcast where we share the latest news and inspiration from our 11 country region. I would like to thank Philip Baptist, our executive producer, and Prince Bahati and Jonathan Konzaikao, our executive producers, along with our entire team at the ECD Media Center for their diligence and commitment to excellence in creating this dynamic new resource. It is my prayer that you will be encouraged and mobilized for mission as you see the stories of God's providence and witness the countless ways lives are being transformed by the gospel message all across our division territory. Don't forget to like and share this video with all your friends and neighbors. And now join me in watching this edition of ECD Quarterly, where we share the latest news and inspiration from the East Central Africa Division. Welcome to ECD Quarterly, where we share news and inspiration from the East Central Africa Division. Thank you for joining us. In the news this quarter, Kenya's new judge seeks God's blessing before starting his new job. And Adventists in Arusha commemorate 50 years in mission. These stories and more coming up. And now for our top stories. A Seventh-day Adventist judge who refuses to work on Sabbath has been sworn in as the Chief Justice of Kenya's Supreme Court, marking the first time that a church member has presided over a country's top court. Chief Justice David Maraga invited Blesha Suruguri, President of the Adventist Church East Central Africa Division, into his chambers for a prayer of dedication before tackling his new responsibilities. Ruguri said that the judge is a man of prayer and an example of faithfulness to all Adventists. You see, Bahati, I feel Chief Justice Maraga's time for God is just exemplary. He's just amazing, a humble man. I met him. I feel his courage is just but exemplary. Seventh-day Adventists in Arusha recently celebrated 50 years of mission and evangelism in the region. Church leaders lit the evangelical torch as memorial of their 50 years of jubilee in a celebration at the Burka SDA Church in Arusha, Tanzania. The Jubilee, which was held for three days, commemorated the Adventist work from 1966 to 2016. Church leaders reported that there were only eight church members in 1966, but in the course of 50 years, the church in Arusha has grown to more than 10,000 church members. Dr. Godwin Lakundayo, president of Northern Tanzania Union Conference, encouraged church members to work hard as the second coming of Jesus Christ is near. The climax of the celebration was the lighting of a commemorative torch by Pastor Geoffrey Mbwana, who is a general vice president of the Adventist World Church. Nearly 200 people from across Africa gathered in Kenya for the continent's first gift of prophecy symposium on the life and teachings of Seventh-day Adventist Church co-founder Ellen G. White. A total of 181 Adventist leaders Pastors and lay people from the church's three divisions of Africa attended. They joined representatives from the Adventist World Church headquarters in the United States at the July 2016 symposium at the Adventist University of Africa in Nairobi. Topics addressed during the symposium included White's contribution to the work of the church, developing a love for White's councils in the 21st century, reaching millennials, Adventist education in Africa, health, mission leadership, and worship. Coming up, ECD hosts the Total Member Involvement Leadership Convention, but up next, find out more about the ECD Medical School. When you or a family member is ill or injured, who do you turn to? If you are like most people in your community, you go to the very best hospital. Why? Because you know you'll receive absolute top-notch medical care. You also know 
that you'll be treated like a real person by dedicated, compassionate healthcare professionals in a warm and caring environment. But in some regions of the world, access is limited and quality health care is something only a few can enjoy. The East Central Africa Division is one of these areas. In our division, there is only one doctor for every 17,000 people. This is why we are building a brand new Adventist medical school and teaching hospital for doctors, nurses, and dental students. Plans are underway to build the facility on the main campus of the Adventist University of Central Africa in Kigali, Rwanda. The division plans to open the doors of this new medical school in September of 2017. Your gift of $25 or more can equip young people across East Central Africa who have a dream to make a difference and extend the healing ministry of Jesus to countless of individuals who lack access to quality health care. If you'd like, you can specify your gift to a particular building in one of the four phases of our building project. With your help, Phase one can be complete by September of 2017. Welcome back. Let's take a look at more of our top stories. The Youth and Chaplaincy Department hosted a special public campus ministries convention in October 2016 to energize and equip students and youth leaders to share their faith on public campuses. The special weekend event was a worldwide initiative organized by General Conference Leadership that was broadcast simultaneously in all 13 regions of the Worldwide Church. The ECD event was held at the Kenyatta University in Kenya and was attended by more than 5,000 students. Participants reported that they came away educated and empowered to be messengers of the cross on public campuses. Ted Wilson, shared a special video message with the attendees, encouraging them to turn campuses upside down for Jesus. Leaders in public campus ministries, your work is one of the most important on the face of this earth, placing yourselves in Christ's hands through the Holy Spirit's power to train and propel thousands of Seventh-day Adventist students in sharing the joy of Christ's righteousness and his soon second coming with literally millions of young students on public and private college and university campuses around the world. More than 170 Adventist professionals and business people in Rwanda attended a three-day retreat to support the mission of the Adventist Church in August 2016. The meeting started on Friday, August 26th, and took place in the premises of East Central Rwanda Conference in Kigali under the theme called Chosen and Committed. The guest speaker was Zuki Imandal Ngaoli, an Adventist architect and philanthropist from South Africa. The Rwanda Minister of Local Governance attended the retreat with other Adventists who work in different positions of the government of Rwanda. Up next, Students share what total member involvement or TMI means to them. I'm Chantal, a student at Adventist University of Central Africa. TMI for me is bringing others to Christ. I'm so happy that not only pastors, uh, even students can participate here in uh, the TMI. So it makes me feel good because sharing is the most beautiful thing. Uh, sharing uh, Bible lessons, sharing songs, sharing the Word of God. I'm very happy to, to be involved in the TMI because I want to, to join the, the people who are involved in the Gospel of God. experience at Oka, I have seen so many lives being transformed, converted to Jesus. It was a very great ex uh, expression for me to see people accepting Jesus. I'm very happy because uh, uh, our young people here at the university are really involved in this program 
They started even earlier by sensitizing other students. And uh, last Sabbath, we baptized uh, uh, 30, 30 people. And today, uh, we have on our list uh, around uh, 60. And all these people who are being baptized are the results of uh, the, our students who were involved in uh, evangelism. We have this privilege to, uh, to have a chance to share with others the word of God and uh, to bring many people to Christ so that at the end of this earth we will be together in the heaven. Almost 100 leaders gathered at the headquarters of the Adventist Church's East Central Africa region to share and learn new strategies for leading and empowering total member involvement. Featured presenters were Adventist World Church President Ted Wilson, Executive Secretary GT Ng, Nils Eriks Andreson, Dr. Carlton Bide, and many more. Participants shared that they were blessed by the convention and came away even more equipped for mission. In October of 2016, the East Central Africa Division hosted its first ever ECD Leadership Convention. Participants included the top officers from the region's 11 unions and two attached territories, along with leaders and administrators for the ECD headquarters in Nairobi, Kenya. The Leadership Convention focused on a theme of TMI Inside Out, which encouraged leaders to motivate and empower TMI, or total member involvement, at the administrative level. One of the highlights of the convention were the presentations by World Church President Dr. Ted N.C. Wilson. Wilson inspired administrators to grow in their daily walk with Christ and to lead with integrity and a commitment to excellence. God has a plan for your life. He has placed you where you are in order for you to be a humble servant for him, just as Moses was. G.T. Um, the denomination's executive secretary, shared inspiring leadership presentations. Why are we talking about leadership from inside out? It's because we don't always know what is in the inside. We don't always know. We know what is on the outside, but not necessarily what is inside. <laughs> this is the reason why Christ talks about the whitewashed what? sepulchre. Nice on the outside, inside you don't know. Elder George Adwake, Associate Treasurer of the General Conference, shared strategies on empowering TMI from a Treasury perspective. ECD Division Executive Secretary Elder Alain Karali shared about the importance of emotional intelligence for leaders. Sometimes we make things worse by not knowing how to relate to one another. Dr. Delbert Baker, President of the Adventist University of Africa, shared biblical models for sustaining TMI. The conference's keynote presenters were Dr. Carlton P. Bird from the North American Division and Speaker Director of Breath of Life Ministries, and Dr. Niels Eric Andreasen, President Emeritus of Andrews University. Well, ideas at the ground roots level are like pollen. They're flying around everywhere, and we must pay attention to them. Dr. Carlton P. Bird talked about leading and empowering total member involvement evangelism and shared principles for leadership excellence. If you want pastors, if you want church members to get involved, you've got to model certain servant leadership. You've got to lead by example. A leader is one who knows the way, goes the way, and shows the way. Dr. Blasius Riguri, president of the East Central Africa Division, concluded with a closing challenge that modeled total leader involvement and encouraged the leaders to mentor and develop other leaders for mission. When I look around, I will tell you, my leaders and our leaders, that uh, this is the group that leans 
in East Central Africa Division, unions, institutions, departments, and other aspects of mission. I can say without fear that they are people committed to finish this work in this territory. Someone far from Harbour, you may die across the road. Right at the corner, where you are. Thank you so much for joining us for this premiere edition of ECD Quarterly. Join us next time on ECD Quarterly for more news and inspiration from the East Central Africa Division. God bless you. Take care.